Yo, yo, what's up with it? So this is a video. He ain't gotta stop this mutt level, man. This uh compass level. You see right there, I got less than a hundred us uh, points when it comes to scoring. You see I got my AJ. You're gonna hear it later in this video I say CJ. But I got less than a hundred. I got thirteen I went thirteen and twelve in the weekend league, right? Thirteen and twelve. And I got less than a hundred total uh, touchdown, total score, or whatever. Now this is why this game. I got two game plays. This game right here is the reason why Mutt Level is terrible. You know, I got my AJ, but I didn't get the top thousand or whatever. I could have if people doesn't quit. But you'll see right here, this is a good example of the type of games I had when I did win. And why, like if y'all going to have mutt levels and you're going to tie it to wins, just, just tie it wins to wins. Like we don't need like certain, uh, we don't need certain uh, milestones to be only counted if you win. Because a lot of times you get games like this where people just leave. Like they won't even try. You score, they turn the ball over, they leave. Or sometimes, I had a game where he just turned the ball over. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. The guy left. Now, this example right here, this the example I'm about to give you right now, it wasn't even in much champs. But it was in regular head-to-head. -head. I swear, the guy was beating me by two points. And, but the whole time I started coming back, I started intercepting the ball a lot. Like, but the dude was still winning, and he quit. How do you leave a game winning by two points? Tell me that. How do you get that upset at the game where you are winning and you quit? And I'm not talking about a uh, connection loss. I'm not talking about where his connection could have got lost or, you know, got kicked. No, he actually pushed the pause button, actually left the game. I witnessed it. I recorded it. I don't know what I did with that video, but he literally pushed pause and quit the game with a two-point lead. So, that's why I'm up level. Like, I could have already had my, like, the day, uh, like, I got my AJ the day that everybody could get it, but I got it around, like, 8 o'clock at night, and apparently I was way too late. But if my month champs would have went better, the game, look, look, guys out of here. The, I just scored one time. I scored. It was six. To, it must be seven to zero. The guy just quit. But this game right here is not gonna have no commentating to it. Just straight gameplay. This is when I do get my a, 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 uh, AJ. This is in uh, head to head. I had to get my a, AJ through head to head because, like I said, mud champs. I could have got it done a lot quicker, but. It was terrible. People kept on quitting on me. The games I would win, and then the games that I would lose, I would just get smacked. And half that progress wouldn't even count. And like the yard, certain stuff will count. So I stayed and just continued to get slapped because I had other stuff that I could work on while I take a L. But other people don't see it like that. They just make your uh, life miserable by quitting the game and. Uh, not giving you a chance. So this is my divisional game, or I think it's really my wild card. It had, it must have been his divisional because I was really in my wild card because we end up losing our real divisional game. Uh, but this is when I get my AJ after this game, and we have a, uh, this game. This game right here comes to the wire. It comes down to the wire. But yeah, yeah, you really got to change that because. You know, you got people that grinding just like everybody else, man. They're trying to be in the top thousand, at least make it uh, worth more people to attain and make it a thousand per console or something. But, uh, man, when you got games like that where people don't even give themselves a chance, give you a chance, like they would just leave the game. They turn them all over, leave the game. As you score, leave the game. They, they, might, they don't even know. They might have could have beat you. That's what's so sad. What's so sad about how people brain work 
they probably actually could have beat you, but they get so frustrated they just leave the game, and that's what's so crazy about it is like, uh, and, and, and then it don't even make sense. Like I got I got some videos I just gotta find where people would come with these broken ass ebooks. Like man, some of these people that be selling these ebooks, man, hey, y'all better stop buying them ebooks. Or, or learn how to use them properly, man. I have a you knew, I played this dude, you knew he was using the ebook because he did the same stuff over and over. And since it did not work, you know what? He scored zero zero. Since his ebook didn't work, he just left the game. Zero zero. Just left the game because he seen that. Oh man, I got a uh that uh fifty dollar ebook I bought, man, they working for me, man. And uh, just right quick, man. So, so EA, like, let you got to do something about that. Make it where, you know, you can still get progress if somebody quit, or you know, everything not tied into if you win or make head make head to head more because head to head giving you like one like two per challenge. Like, so if it's like 10 challenges, I don't know how exactly how many challenges, but if it's like 10 challenges, all of them is giving you like two per challenge or, or three per challenge. Well, two and then some might give you three, but that's way, way too little, way too, uh, you know, because your, your main majority points when it comes to the comp pass is much champs. And solo battles. Solo battles and must champs gonna give you the most points. Your dailies, just make sure you do your dailies. But your head to head don't give you nothing. So it's really not worth so that's what took me so long. So my solo I only could go so far in the solo because one of them is tied to wins. So since one of them tied to wins, when it first come out, the first day you only gonna get five uh, games. So you only gonna get one challenge dog. I think it's like five, ten, and then it might be twenty or something, something like that. But either way, you only gonna get, gonna get one challenge done when it comes to the win part of it. So and then must champ, it all depends on if your must champ be good. And since I had so many people leave, the main majority of my points that I needed was tied like like the points where. Uh, where you just had to get the 200 uh, score, basically the 250 uh, score in general. I was let, I had 13 games win, and I was let. I had like 90, 96 score, 96 score, and I had 13 games won. So that lets you know you do your math on your own on that one. 13 games, 96 points in general. So that's what's so crazy about it. So. With some of them being tied to, and just like the other one, uh, the two point conversions only count when you win. Which, man, I can't do a two point conversion if they're gonna leave because normally, unless you just risk you like that and don't care, normally what I like to do is score, kick my field goal, and see how it's gonna look for me, and that's gonna determine if I go for it the next time or not because. If I'm in a sweat game, I'm not going to just be going for two-point conversions all, you know, all crazy because that's what might decide the game right there. When you're in one of those sweat games where it's neck-to-neck, -neck, man, you got to play. You, you can't just play, oh, man, I got to get you challenged, though. You got to play to win because if you fail, then all that progress you had during that game is gone. It's wiped away. So... So with that knowledge, you know, I'm coming in, let me score, let me just see how his offense is, see how good he is, and that's it, you know, he just puts on me. So yeah, so a lot of stuff I had to wait, I had to like hurry up and do, because I, so, I left my solo battles trying to get the much champs, because I know the much champs was uh, more things, even though solo battles give you a lot, but it was just better for me to do the much champs and then get to the solo. And then see when I had to do left. But I had to get straight to the solos. Uh, solo battle. And then get straight to the head to head. Where it took me till 8 o'clock at night. To get my AJ. And it was way too late after that. I did, uh, At least I got them right now. You know. I did get them first day. Like I said. Maybe they can make 
the top 2,000. I don't see... If you're going to have Xbox, PlayStation, and PC all together, right? You're going to have all them. Then you know how many people play Madden, man? Like, you at least can make it top 2,000 or top 1,500. Like, 1,000 a little too short for every console to compete, be competing. If it was just one console, okay, cool. If it was just PlayStation competing against PlayStation, Xbox competing against Xbox, PC uh, competing against PC, that's cool. A thousand is, is way, if you can't get that, then, sh hey, just do your best, I guess. But it really ain't nothing to complain about when you talk about console versus console. Your console versus other people, you know, PlayStation versus PlayStation, basically, what I'm trying to say. So, but since it's all three consoles, man, come on, man. Raise that to 1500, 2000. Let's stop being greedy with that because, like I said, you got people that would literally just raise, quit the game. Like, you don't even give themselves a chance. Zero, zero, quit. You score one point, quit. They turn the ball over, quit. Like, man, that's ridiculous, man. But. I'm repeating myself at this time, so I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. This was a good game. This is how I got my AJ after uh, basically all day long trying to get him. And uh, if you will enjoy the video, subscribe, hit the like button. We out of here. and the coaches. Well done. Now a second down throw for Young. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And he'll get it in the enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Robinson will try to pick it up. Got a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Young. Throw caught by Flowers. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Here is Young. Throwing out left and finding Likely. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. I like how they work the tight extra yardage. Let's go. Back to the ground with Robinson. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up the three. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Robinson. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Bijan Robinson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Now Moody for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And he'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up past the 40-yard line. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Ready, ready. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. They're throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. Big strides, look at him go. And he'll finally 
finally be taken down at the two-yard line. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Here's Taylor again, and he's going the wrong way again. He'll lose yardage here back to the five. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they're going to try this. They need five full yards to hit the end zone here on fourth and goal, but they're going for it. Now they send the tight end in motion left. Ready? Now Young on fourth down, rolling to his left. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the Seahawks able to come up with a goal line stand. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. This offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Young to throw it. His throw incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Now Young. Forced out. Oh, Young loses it, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down a defense. But you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there, someone always trying to get to the football, try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Bryce Young with a second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with 40 seconds to go, that's, you think, time enough to try to mount a drive should they decide to do so. Young's throw is on target to Likely. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing. 
Young. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now here's Young. Target to his man, likely. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. No hesitation, goes right back to Likely. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick is good. And that will do it. A field goal, the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Young off the play fake. Complete to Likely. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Young looks to throw on first down. A short one there, caught by Likely. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and a yard. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. 53 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. A first down throw for Young. And this is caught. It's Brown. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They give it off here to the tight end. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. They'll run for it with Robinson. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to run. And he'll go down right around the 
seven this time. Back to back nice plays 12 yards that time and a first down. They run out of the gun with Swift and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 22 yard line. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They get body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Now Young. Being chased out left. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it, it's Taylor. And he will take it all in for a Chiefs touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, 14 yards. And the Chiefs put together a fourth quarter drive to take the lead. So a big decision there to go on fourth down. Gets him not only the first, but gets him the touchdown as well. And Brandon, you and I know that all these coaches tell us if every play is executed the way it's designed, it goes for a touchdown. But let's be honest. They were shooting for the first down on that one. And boy, were they fortunate to take it on the way in. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Now here's a throw. It's complete. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 36. Young. It's complete to Brown, right side. Touchdown, Seahawks. Marquise Brown, 36 yards. And the Seahawks answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it, the fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? And he will not get there. He comes up short. And they're unable to 
push this lead to a field goal as it'll remain a one-point game. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here we go. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. That throw by Young incomplete. The struggles finding open receivers continue. I don't know the last time I saw this inconsistent throwing the football. It would be hard to find a date when he was this inconsistent. You know, in his locker, he keeps the word poise printed on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. He needs to find that poise right now. He certainly does. In fact, I would suggest he laminated. And Young's throw there incomplete. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the official. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down, and he'll have it by 20 as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. Three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Down. Here's second and a yard. Faster, faster. Down. Right back to Swift again on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there defending. Here now, third down. The Chiefs will use the first question now. Can they get closer on third down? A field goal from here. You're looking at right about a 52-yarder. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. And time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and 10 here. They will run straight ahead with Swift. There's a nice move. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. But they picked up a little bit of a clock wind down. They'll come up now on second down. Right. Now a first carry for their fullback. Now the Seahawks going to use the first ball to this part of the field. We want our field goal kicker set up. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the... And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And his kick is indeed good. And they'll be Hey, GG, dog, that's money, man. I just got my CJ. Just got my CJ off that win, man. GG. We all just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done. A narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome was in.